Hey guys, welcome back. We're back at the Cathedral of the Deep in the Cleansing Chapel. And we are going to take the shortcut again. And likely take on the boss of this area today. Oh man. You know, those five level ups from uh, what's his face really, really helped from a Yule. Because at this point in my other playthrough where I didn't get those five free level ups, I, I was hurting. Those five level ups, you know, they do good. I feel like I keep missing something that I can roll off and grab. Nope. Okay. Well. In Souls games, it's not uncommon that if an elevator is open like this, you can usually roll to another area. Like, that's secret. This seems to be about as secret as it gets, is this little run around here. Um, actually, I don't think we want to go this way. Do we? I don't think we do. No, we don't. Sorry, getting my bearings. Okay, so how do we... Oh, I know what we're doing. That's right, there's another door right here. Hoodoo joy. Okay, um... Oh, no, that's... Wait, I took the wrong door. Amateur hour. It's easy to get turned around in this place. There's the elevator, and then this. That's right, this is back to where we were. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Back in the cathedral. Okay. Yep, I think this is the really big asshole dude, and there should be a thrall right here. Fuck off, broski. We're gonna actually see if we can stealthily pull this lever without them noticing. And we can, and that'll raise that. I'm actually gonna see if I can pull those thrall bastards before I aggro the knight. Low on firebombs, should probably buy some of those the next time I'm at the shrine. Let's see if these thrall pieces are shit. Let's see if I can draw them. Yep, there we go. That's what we wanted. Oh god. Oh wow. Aggressive little bastard, ain't you? We're actually gonna go around him right now. Because <laughs> I don't trust him to not attack me. Oh god. And all for this item right here. That is far away. Large soul. Okay. Don't have to deal with him. We should deal with this guy, though, which is unfortunate. Mm, this is not gonna be good. Okay. It's also really hard to roll in this area. Just give me the item, maiden. Okay. Okay, buddy. Alright. Don't step on me! Okay. I want this item. Uh, grab it. A soul of the nameless soldier. Cool. Got it. Okay, and then we want to open this door. Ah! Push it. Push it real good. Whew. Okay. Open that up. We're just opening up shortcuts, really, is what this is. Points of easier access. <sighs> and I can't remember exactly where this spits us out. I think just an area with a bunch of cool shit. Ooh, we get the Saint Bident, which is like a trident, but there's only two prongs, so it's a Bident. And a Homeward Bone, thank god. Okay. Okay, we got that, and there's nothing over here. That's that, uh bridge that we rescued. What's his face? Yule from? I'm pretty sure, anyway. 
actually, no, that's a, um, no, that's the same bridge. Yep, I'm right. Um, and then that's Varen's Keep over there. High Wall of Lothric and Lothric Castle. And the Crying Maiden. Speaking of maidens, we picked up a maiden outfit. White robe worn by traveling maidens, part of their formal attire, regardless of rank. It is soft and well-made, but ill-suited for use in battle. Uh, this is what Ina Arena of Kareem is wearing, actually. I think it has... Yeah, it doesn't... It has really good curse defense, but that's about it. Not soft and well-made. Um, we also picked up... A weapon... Saint Biden, a silver Biden decorated by a holy symbol, formerly wielded by Saint Clint. He discarded this weapon that draws upon one's faith on the day that he put it, his own faith behind him. Sorry, that was a boop, 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 boop. It's hard to read sometimes when you know a lot of people are listening to you. Um, and unfortunately, my Dark Souls knowledge is not vast enough to know of a Clint. Uh, I was hoping I wouldn't aggro you. Don't touch me, I'm scared. Okay. We're gonna roll, 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 roll. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Bad touch, don't touch me. Don't look at me. Okay, we're good. Hey, asshole. Hey, you. Oh, friend. I didn't know you'd follow me here. Goodbye. Oh, no. And the reason he's taking damage is because he got poisoned by that little fountain over there. That's what you get for being a little ambushing fuck. Now we're over here. And this guy has lots of items around him. Isn't that fun? <laughs> uh, but first gonna run over here and pull this lever and that's gonna raise that and so that helps these giants from like moving into the same area it also acts as a bridge Um, there are sludge monsters. This guy has tons of items around him, and we need to get up those stairs, actually. So let's get to it. Ugh, God. And there's sludge monsters in here. We got Drang. Got some Drang gauntlets, man. Oh, God. And we got some Drang armor. And we got some drang shoes. And a large soul. And a pale tongue. And there's one more thing over here. Okay, thank you for pushing me forward. We got drang hammers. Whew! This is not good. We are in a bad way. Nope. Nope, oh, fuck off, giant bro. You have bad toenails, and I bet you smell. Oh. Okay. We're okay. We made it. Uh. Try attacking, and then time for pullback. Uh. Yeah, we have to deal with some nasties up in here. <sighs> I can't tell if we want to ignite an ember just yet. Um. We do want to pull these guys one at a time, though. Um, that knight will not aggro as long as we don't touch him. But it keeps locking onto him. I don't want him. I want someone else. I don't want him yet. I don't want you yet. I want one of these easy deacons. That's what I want. Okay, let's go with you. Come on. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why? 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 
Why? Uh, why, 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 why? Why, why, why? Oh, I think this is where the elevator is over here. Nope. I lied. Good. Okay. Good. I love when that happens. I love when I'm wrong. I love when I'm wrong. What's over here? Not what I wanted. That's what. Whoa! Mm hmm heal there's something up here that we want I think I lied okay I <sighs> I could have sworn there was a another shortcut around here oh I think it's back there well first we're gonna grab this an ember which is always nice Oh, that guy doesn't notice us. Yes, here, I believe. Yes, this is what we wanted. Phew! Yep, this is what we wanted. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This spits us back out. Give me our shortcut. I should, I think. Yeah, there's a shortcut around here, right? Am I remembering that incorrectly? Yes, it's from uh, the bonfire. The one that I can't remember how to get to from here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the level design of Souls games are always really great. I will give it that. Is it just this? No, because this is the way out the front. Yeah, this is just the way out the front. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna use a homeward bone. We'll take that elevator now that we've unlocked it and uh, pop an ember and then we will take on the boss of the Cathedral of the Deep. And it's not too difficult of a boss, it just really helps to have a buddy. So we're gonna do that. through here. And we've unlocked this elevator now, I'm pretty sure. Long finger? What does that mean? Wait, did I just take the wrong elevator? I feel like I did. I can't remember. I apologize if you guys are like seeing this and being like, no Joy, you fucking idiot, it's the other one. It's the fucking other one. God Joy, you're so stupid. I think it is the other one. Whoops. Really easy to get turned around, obviously. Right, and is there something here? Right, isn't there? Isn't there something? I can't remember. I can't fucking remember, man. Can't remember, dude. Yeah, fuck you. That would have spat us out, right? Somewhat. I. Mm. Let me think about this. Oh, I know where we want to go. I know what's up. I know what's up. We go to Rosaria's bedchamber. We unlock the elevator that pops up over there. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, we got it, we got it. Just, you know, wasted two homework bones, that's fine. <laughs> Can always buy more of those. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna go to Rosaria's. Do not talk to her, it will upset Sirius of the Sunless Moon. We don't want to do that. <sighs> Can't believe Yuria was like, you should kill Orbeck. Like, he's totally, like, acting like a Lord of Hollows, and he's really not. <laughs> like, he's undead. We learn this, if he's not already established it. But, um, 
He just trying to learn about sorceries, mate. He ain't trying to do anything. And we are going to pop an ember. Get a bit more goodness going. And that's right, we run over there. And we're gonna run across. Right. I think. Right. <laughs> we're gonna come up here. And then, yes, there should be an elevator over here, which will spit us out in front of the boss room. Yes. Got it. Perfect. Okay. Everything's coming up Millhouse. And we're just gonna run past these guys. I don't fuck with you. And that fog gate. And we're gonna wait for a summon sign. Cause uh we we need a buddy. Try dashing through or circling around. Could this be a key? Hollow ahead and short being to a pulp required ahead. Yeah, there's gonna just be a lot of get out of my house. Um I wonder why there's not any signs. Oh, there's a sign. Oh, hey! Horus the Hush. So this is an NPC phantom, but that's fine. And I think because I'm hollowed, I'm only allowed to choose, like, one NPC. Horus, Horus, no, Horus, come on. Come on, Horus. Thank you, Horus. You're a true friend, Horus. Let's go. And welcome to the boss, the Deacons of the Deep. Lots of these creepy assholes. What you're trying to do is you're trying to, uh... That red orb infects like a specific deacon and you're trying to beat it out of them Ugh. without getting your ass kicked so that's why it helps to have a friend oh there you are look i don't appreciate it all right yeah it helps to have a friend to just kind of clear things out oh god fire Okay, and this is where the real fight begins. We get the Archdeacon. And you want to get as many of these fat fucks out of the way as possible. Because they are a problem. And they will cause some shit for you. Good job, Horus. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, this is an overall pretty easy fight. I shouldn't say that just in case some shit's about to go south. Oh, this is a bad spot. Yeah. Yeah, you can get stuck every once in a while. That's about as scary as it gets, really. Oh, God. Come on, dude. Give up the ghost. There we go. Air of fire destroyed. Thanks, Horus. Bye, Horus. But yeah, we did it. And we picked up a doll 
and something else. Uh, let's see what we got. We picked up Soul of the Deacons of the Deep. Soul of the Deacons of the Deep, one of the twisted souls steeped in strength, used to acquire many souls or transposed to extract its true strength. After Aldrich left for the Boreal Valley, that's why he's not here, Archdeacon Royce, who we just fought, remained in the cathedral with the high priest to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin. And we also picked up a key item. Small doll, small silverwork doll depicting a young squire. In the legendary old city of Irithil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they may might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully and you can hear it say, wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithil. Wherever you may be, Irithil is your home. This is what we needed to get into Irithil. And this is actually the tomb of Aldrich. Pretty fucking big. And lots of statues of deacons up there. Pretty creepy. Um, we also have statues of people that kind of look like Yor of Londor back here. Something growing out of the backs. A curse, perhaps? I don't know. But we do have a bonfire. Let's like that shit. Let's also read some of these notes. Coffin ahead, yeah. That's... Huh, it's rubbish. <laughs> um, I'm gonna rest. And if you rest and come back, you get the Archdeacon set. A little... Little trick that not everybody knows about. Oh, let's read what we know about that. Archdeacon Holy Garb. Holy Garb worn by an Archdeacon of the Cathedral of the Deep, a sign of the Way of White's highest rank. Of the three Archdeacons of the Deep, one stood over Aldrich's casket with hope that he would return one day. So, that's what just went, went down. I don't think... Yeah, I think this is a dead end. What's this say? Could this be a treasure? Uh, not that I know of. Safe zone, not here. <laughs> yeah, there's not really a safe zone. Okay. And we're actually going to go to the cleansing chapel real quick. And I want to see if one of our NPCs has uh, come and join us. Well, let's find out. Um, after this, we're going to be headed to Farron's Keep, which will be our kind of ticket forward in the game. But first, I want to check to see if an old friend is here. What's that, Timmy? Siegfried fell down the well. Oh. I know that voice. Just how long has it been? It's me, Siegfried of Katarina. I've learned to admit it, but I've been had. <laughs> Someone's swiped my arm. Well, I'll be. Did you happen to see it anywhere? Oh. Haven't seen it. Not funny. Great planning against great fortune. And those tales of the Knights of Catarina. And I am a master planner. I do say. You know, he's he seems pretty dull, but he's actually a pretty clever dude when he's in these sticky situations. So yeah, he's down there. And I wonder now. Just a second here. This is part of an NPC quest as well for Siegbert. <laughs> um, come up here. No, we want to uh, go back to Rosaria's, I believe. 
Yeah, we want to go back to Rosaria's bedchamber and see what we can find. Nope, slide. Sorry, it's bedchamber. Poor Seaford. Somebody stole his armor and shoved his ass down a well. Wonder who that could have been. We're gonna find out. We're gonna get to the bottom of this shit. I'm gonna pull some Nancy Drew shit. Cathedral of the Deep. Get out of my way, Slego. You nasty worm. And I wonder... Nope. Hmm. That's okay. In that case, we'll just go back to the shrine. Uh, somebody would appear there. And it's uh, apparently very tricky to get the trigger to work correctly. But uh, somebody would appear there and they would pull that bridge down as you were crossing it. And they would be in being an imposter. Oh, hey, buddy. Um, of Siegfried of Katarina. They'd be wearing his armor and be, like, mimicking his voice, but it wasn't quite right. But that's okay. Hey, you. Thanks for the help. I know, you did so good. It is nice weather we're having. And what about you? Oh, have we meet again? We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. And the other store. I know you, girl. I'm well pleased to see you safe. And you as well. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. I know, what's up with that? The man to must have left for his true home. Mm, the Urethil. in the empty coffin told me. That's Aldrich creepy. said to Henry <laughs> from Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep, and so becomes our destination. I Aldrich's see. Aldrich's honest home is Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep and so becomes our destination. Alright. Well, I'll probably see you there. I'm headed there next as well. And you, my crestfallen bro, have you anything new to say? No, same shit, different day. What about you? Are you still pressed about Orbeck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, let's see what we can transpose with these Deacons of the Deep. Go see our friend Lilith of Corland up there. And if not, I'm probably gonna crush it for... Oh, I jumped on the wrong one. Uh, so close. Because uh, um, I really want to buy that tower key and show you guys what's up there. Let's look and see. Uh, we can get a deep soul. Sorcery of Archdeacon Royce and his deacon said to have been imparted to them by McDonald of the, uh, of the Boreal Valley. Fires dark soul dregs. Souls which swell from the deep pursue their target, drawn towards life. We can also get the cleric's candlestick. Candlestick used as both a sword and catalyst, used for worship by the deacons of the deep. The deacons, under the guidance of Archdeacon McDonnell, became both clergymen and sorcerers. And then... Yeah, we don't have any of these anymore. Um, I'm gonna crush this soul. And see if it'll give us enough to buy that damn key. Probably not. Oh, it did. With some left over. 20k, baby. We are rolling. Okay. 
you can give me a key. Thank you. Action one. <laughs> Will do. And we're going to level up. I'd like to level up. And let's see. Let's up our endurance. Okay, so now we have this really cool key. Let's go use it. So this is a key to the tower. Here, let me just read it, actually. Key to the decrepit tower behind Firelink Shrine, which leads to the Bell Tower. The Bell Tower is the grave of Firekeeper's past. When a Firekeeper has served her purpose, she is led to true darkness, where she enjoys a long-deserved sleep. You'll notice this cleared up to kind of let us pass back here. Um, this is also a Dark Souls 2 reference back here, the sort of giant becoming a tree. A seed of a giant tree is yet to fall. And I believe we maybe have picked that up. Hold on. Eh, not yet. Doesn't look like it. Anyway. There's some fun stuff back here. Soul of a deserted corpse. Alright, let's explore some shit. Um, this is the bell tower, which would have been associated with Dark Souls 1 as the Bell of Awakening. And it's kind of to uh, a way that hollows express that, you know, they were going on the journey to link the flame. That an undead was present. There's Lothric Castle again. And we will be going to Lothric Castle. And then that's the bell tower. Before we go to the bell tower, though, if you just take a step off the side here. You can walk around on the roof, and you can also kick down that ladder so we won't have to climb up there and make that weird drop, because it can be a little precarious. There's an item down there that we'll swoop around and get. But something fun up here. So, in Dark Souls 1, there was a crow's nest, and if you and you could leave an item behind, and they would trade you an item back. Um, and these are little baby crows. I hear you, I hear you. Um, let's see if we can give these guys something. What about... I forget what these guys want. Uh... Sorry, I'm trying to choose wisely about what I want to give these guys. Let's give them a uh, Siegbrow. This is a special brew of Siegbert of Katarina, perfect for traveling. It's Jolly Barrel Mug. Restores HP and temporarily boosts frost resistance. Leave it to Siegbert to discover a drink that even an undead can enjoy. Perhaps his long years spent undead have left him wanting to drain a cup or two and revel as if he were still among the living. Let's leave it. Leave Siegbrow? Yes. Pumperum really liked that. And they gave us... Something very special indeed. The Armor of the Sun. Praise the Sun! Chainmail armor and white coat featuring a large rendition of the holy symbol of the sun. The choice attire of a singular knight of sunlight from a previous age. The symbol was painted by the knight himself, but the armor never bore any special power, sacred or otherwise. This is Solaire's armor from Dark Souls 1. He is the dude that came up with Praise the Sun and also the term Jolly Cooperation. I mean, he's a huge figure. 
And um, there are quite a few theories that people have had about Solaire over his lifetime. And um, there's actually confirmation soon that those people were not far off, I believe. Like, there's a lot in this game that really sort of points that that fan theory is correct. Um, and I'll explain more about that theory the closer we get to it. But let's grab a homeward bone, I guess, in case you get stuck up there. There's also, we'll explore the tower, hold your horses, we'll do it, but first I want to, there's a little twinkling sound. Oh, what's that, a crystal lizard? <laughs> Be very, very quiet, I'm hunting lizards. Come back here, you. Eh. There we go. I got a twinkling titanite. Then we can jump back down here, get back up. I think there's much else on the roof around here that I know of. I know that there's something over here. I think there is an item up here. Can't remember. There is a doorway. Um, I thought there was an item up here. Maybe I'm mistaken. Hold on. Yeah, I could have sworn there was an item up here. Oh well. There is a doorway though, and we're gonna go in that. And this is a Firelink Shrine, and there is a shiny on the rafter over there. And we're gonna go get it. Be very, very careful. We are below the crow's nest. And we can get an Estus Shard, yeah boy. And over here, huh, it's an illusion. Indeed it is. Look down, a little secret area back here that we can drop down on with a treasure chest. And this is the covetous silver serpent ring. I always hit that menu first, I'm sorry. Covetous Silver Serpent Ring. A silver ring depicting a snake that could have been, but never was. A dragon. Fallen foes yield more souls. Snakes are known as creatures of great avarice, devouring prey even larger than themselves by swallowing them whole. If one's shackles are cause for discontent, perhaps it is time for some old-fashioned greed. So this raises um, souls dropped by enemies by about 10%. Pretty good ROI. I mean, it's not fantastic, but it's good. If you're souls farming, you know, trying to level up or buy something, it, it definitely helps out. And now, now we're going to explore the tower. Top ourselves off, just because it's never a bad idea. There's nothing bad up here, but this is like a safe zone in the game. Over where the snowy, the snowy mountains are, um, over there was where we fought Udix Gunder. And you can actually see the little orange spots of where our, our bonfires are lit up there too. Cool little detail. Um, I would say there's snowy mountains all around us. Otherwise, um, I'd be able to point in a direction and be like, that's the Boreal Valley, but there's so many all around us that it's like, mm, well. Oh well. Come in here. If we look over the edge, we can see that there's a shiny that we have to jump to. And some more shiny down there, and there's lots of coffins and gravestones. And This is where the fire keepers are buried when they've served their purpose. Did you guys hear that? That door closing? Did we just get locked in here? Shit. Okay. Come up here. At the top of the tower now. 
There's the Bell of Awakening. And here is something very, very special. First, I want to look at this. Let me, uh, you know what, let me get this in my tool belt, actually. My binoculars. She's wearing the same face covering as our firekeeper, and in fact is wearing her clothes. And we have picked up a firekeeper soul. These are very special souls. They don't count as something you can crush, they actually count as uh, key items. Soul of a firekeeper who is said to have returned from the abyss. This firekeeper preserves the bonfire and serves its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil, which has tainted her soul. And yet, her soul will one day embed itself in the bosom of another firekeeper. So this is a very special firekeeper keeper soul in that she walked the abyss and came back. And it, she can heal our dark sigil, if we would like. She can heal our hollow curse. Seems familiar. Yeah, this is the Bell of Awakening. And, I don't know, that down there, it reminds me of something, all those arches. I don't know. But anyway. We can't jump from here. So let's take the elevator back down. And I swore I heard a gate close behind us. And sure the fuck enough... Who could it be? <laughs> Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Have no fear. There's beauty in there. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? <sighs> <sighs> Fucking Patches. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Patches has been around since the beginning. I don't. I think he might have been a Demon Souls. I can't remember, but he was definitely even in Bloodborne. Oh, no matter. I'll look after things. By stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> Patches is a known trickster. He uh, fires catapult at you when he's like, oh no, I won't do it. He lowers the bridge when he's like, oh no, you're fine. And he locks you in a tower when you're going to explore. You're the He's a piece of shit. He's a trickster. Um, and this is the safer way down. We'll go that other way in a second. But, uh, uh... Okay. Platforming. Okay. You can see... Tons of firekeeper corpses just everywhere. Just strewn about. Super sad. But we get an Estus ring. A green ring crafted from shards increases HP restored by Estus Flask. This ring was entrusted to a certain firekeeper, but in the end she never met her champion, and the ensuing tragic farce became a favorite tale of the masses. We're just gonna slip this on. Thank you. And this actually spits us out where that uh, swordsman was. And now... <laughs> you can see how many people have died to that guy. And I always forget to grab this. East-West shield. Oh, hey friends. 
Not so clever now, are ya? Wow, and I got an Estus back. Um, let's see. I always forget that in all my playthroughs. A wooden shield decorated with the ancient symbol of the two-headed eagle, close to a small shield in size. Wooden shields are light, manageable, and offer relatively high magic absorption. Not a fan of wooden shields, personally. I like the metal ones, but, you know, teach his own. It's a preference. There are a million ways to play this game. None of them are wrong. And we are going to confront this asshole. Hey, fuck boy. Remember me? Ah, look, you're alive. Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I've come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it, though. Not one bit. Mm-hmm. You get these urges running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. Do you? Do you? Know you. I mean? Terrible. But I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. And that's what counts, right? <laughs> Patches is basically like, uh, Did you die? <laughs> you know, like, um, You're an asshole, but oh, I forgive fantastic. you. A wily second chance. I, I knew you'd understand. I, I just knew it. Did you? Did you? Liar, a model for the rest of us. A true friend. Forever. <laughs> Anyone that compliments you a lot in this game is probably shitty. Ah, I see you've made hero. Yeah. But he did me Bitch. Back in Dungeon. That's right. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. You should, you asshole. I he's still standing. <laughs> the same. Ah, the slinking rope. Doubtless I should do something. Well, <laughs> Huh, what are you doing with Siegvard's fucking armor, buddy? You're a real piece of shit, Patches. Can't find anything you like. Well, you could try looking a little harder. Patches stole Siegvard's armor and then shoved him down the well. Fucking patches, dude. Well, oh, we had one more item. And uh, I'll probably fall to my death a few times trying to get it, but uh, you'll, you'll remember that it was on the other side and it was much harder to get to, but it's worth it to, worth it for some lore to grab it. I'm gonna grab that and then uh, wrap this episode up. Patches. Fucking patches, man. Now let's open that again. He won't do it again. But, um... Okay. This is a bitch to reach. I'm probably gonna die. Just so you know. Okay. Line ourselves up and... Huh! Oh! Nailed it! First try. Oh, no! Didn't die. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I'm just glad I didn't die. At this point. That sucked, though. I thought I had it. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Ah, <sighs> When you live, but you don't get that loot that you need. Could it be worse? Could it? Probably. And we're going up. Whew. Our guy's getting our cardio in for the day, boy. I tell you what. Okay, let's try this shit again. That's what I thought was going to happen the first time. 
amazing. It's not like the most earth-shatteringly important thing in the world, but uh, it's it's cool to have. I will say that. Um, and I know you guys, you know me at least, if I were watching this, you know, playthrough as somebody who wasn't playing it, I'd be like, "Well, what the fuck is it? Can't leave this hanging like that. What the fuck is up there?" So I'm gonna go get it. I think we have to pass this fog wall real quick. And Patches is a merchant now. And you, you get the patches squat. Are you glad we made it? Yeah, I'm, I'm just. Pissed. I am just so pleased, patches. Pleased as punch. Oh, thanks. Hi, souls. Okay. Let's figure this shit out. to my death. Ah! For Christ's sake! <sighs> we'll get it. We'll get it. Get that goddamn thing. If it fucking kills me. Ah! <sighs> What'd you do today? Oh, I just watched this girl on the internet fall to her death like several times just to get some item. I don't, we don't even know what it is. We don't even know if it's important. Nobody knows if it's important. I don't think even she knows it's important. Run past the fog wall. Should clear up. Yeah, there we go. I'm not entirely certain why it has a fog wall. Or fog gate. It's from commonly referred to. And I don't think there's anything down there, if I remember correctly, that those ledges that look like you can jump to it and there's stuff. Okay, let's let's try this without jumping like a maniac. Oh god. Firekeeper shit. We're gonna homeward bone back to the shrine. <laughs> Got it. See, I was just being too aggressive with them jumps. With them dunks. But we got something cool. Firekeeper robe. Robe worn by the guardian of the shrine. The firekeepers were robbed of light to better serve as vessels for souls. Only those who cherished the writhing, searing darkness were given the keeper's black attire. Um, in Dark Souls 1, they are the beacons for humanity, I believe they're referred to. Something like a draw for humanity. A draw for endless humanity. So, like, souls are drawn to them and it writhes underneath their skin this writhing darkness and you can see her eyes are covered she's been robbed of light perhaps robbed of sight and we can see our friend Henri and Horace our friends Henri and Horace have moved on and we will be moving on to where they are moving on in the next episode when we head to Farron's Keep I will see you guys next time.